Hello everybody, this is the last assignment on networking programming in games course and the topic today is to utilize external web service to store and display high score. Here I already have all the necessary methods from the web service provided by Karelia University of Applied Science. To make use of all these methods, I need to generate a DLL file to make them available to use in the game. So, Firstly, I will download the service description. And download them under as the WSDL file. And then I will open the mono command go to the directory uh, of service maybe. Yes. and you can see that the high score dot wsdl is already here and now we are going to generate a c sharp file with the command sd wsdl and the file name And now, as you can see, it says that the high score C sharp file is generated. Now, we create a library and to reference the system web service library with command w now, dmcs. Uh, and the target is a library. With the, mm, CS reference to the systems system what is yep. it is already um, inside the folder so you can see that the high score dot dll is generated and this is the original file and this is the C sharp file and what we need is a DLL file and you need to copy it into the Unity project here I already downloaded it and do it several times uh, so I already have it inside the Unity project and if you go to the assets you can see that the high score file is here and So now we can use all the methods list in the website with this high score file inside the Unity library. So the main task today is to add the feature to store players' high scores and display them within the game if the player wants to and a high score is identified by game and player name. Before coming to the code, let me demonstrate the result. So, we tell the program the game name and our name and start the server. So, when the server is started, we see a window and when we click the high score button. The high score from the player is shown with the name and the score. And if I am a client, if I am a client and oops. to connect with another name and this is when I search for server and connect to the name and 
when I ask for high score, the high score is from my name. So, uh, if there is new high score generated, for example, like but you kill a lot of ships and you have new high score, a button that add high score is displayed. So if you click this one, the high score will be submitted to the web system and if it is successfully received the data, there will be notification that the high score added successfully and if you refresh it, you can see that the new high score is stated here. It is a little bit um, out of the screen, but you can see that the new high score is like 10 because I set the score for each ship's kill is 2 points. So that is the main idea and let's come to the practical part in code and I will explain my solution. There already have been a start strict defined that's right defined here that displays so um, I just use it to create a window that displays when the game starts and a button called high score as you see and um, firstly uh, let's have a look at the list of methods from the website in this solution I use set score method to add new high score and method get high score to display the store high score. Let's use the get high score first. Uh, it requires game name and player name as the strings, and I'll put a high score entry with two property, name and score. If you click on message layout, you see that the properties of this method is name and score. So I create new high score object and new high score entry object. After that, if the button is clicked, if the high score button is clicked, uh, this line of code will utilize the method get high score with the game type and the player name that I state at the beginning and store them into my high score entry. And I use simply nq method to list the name and the score. And this block of code only ensures that the player name will be shown even though he or she never plays the game before and doesn't have a high score stat statistics yet. Then when the player exceeds the high score, then we display the add high score button. I write here a simple function to increase the score when there is collision between the plasma and the ship. Um, now we utilize the function setScore as you can see the result is a boolean value and when the system received the score and um, it will show a notification that high score added successfully and the method set score requires three parameters of the game type, game name and the number of kills if the number of kills uh, is exceeds the score stored before. So that's all for my solution. Let me summarize the key points again. We utilize the external service by downloading the definition file in WSDL form and use command 
with keyword WSDL to make a C sharp file from that and the command DMCS to generate a DLL file the DD and the DLL file make us to use enable us to use the service within the game and then we can use the functions with the method in the normal way and in this case we use the function set score and get high score to retrieve and display that and that's all for today and for this video uh, thank you for watching